Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another edition of Foodie Fridays. This Foodie Fridays, we are making French toast, but we are making it fall edition style. So we are making pumpkin pie spice French toast. Yes, you heard me right. Now, I have told some of my close friends here on YouTube that I have to admit, and I hate to admit, that I am not a big fan of pumpkin pie. Yes, you heard me say that, and I know you're probably all frowning upon me, but I am not a big lover of pumpkin pie. But I'm going to give it a try as pumpkin pie spice French toast. Now, I'm giving you my French toast recipe that I've made for probably 10 years plus. I've made it forever since me and my husband got together and got our first house. I've made this French toast. So it is a recipe that I've made many, many times. I am just going to take out the cinnamon and I'm going to put in pumpkin pie spice in its place to see if it'll be a nice addition for fall since I know everybody is pumpkin everything. So we're going to give it a shot. So what you're gonna need is you're going to need some flour, you're gonna need some milk, you need a little pinch of salt, so I don't have much left anyway, three eggs, a half a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and make sure it's pure vanilla extract to make sure it tastes just spot on perfect, one tablespoon of white sugar, and some thick slices of bread. I like to use Texas toast just because it's thick and it's really hearty. I like to use the French toast as a meal. I know some people like to use it as a side and still do eggs and bacon. We are going to make bacon with this as our side, but this is the actual meal part to me, and it's very filling. And don't forget you need some powdered sugar as well for that yummy topping. So let's get through the steps we're going to do. We're going to measure our flour in a mixing bowl and we're going to whisk in the, mi the milk slowly. We're going to whisk in the salt, egg, cinnamon, vanilla extract, and sugar until it's smooth. So we'll whisk, whisk, I can't say whisk, 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 whisk all that together. Then we're going to heat a lightly oiled griddle or frying pan over medium heat. So I just use a frying pan and I put actually butter in mine. I put a little melted butter and get that melted. And then we're going to soak our bread slices in the mixture until they're fully saturated. Now you don't want them so saturated to where you can't handle the bread, but you want to make sure that you don't have any dry parts if that makes sense. So this is a very quick, fast process when you're doing this. You're going to cook the bread on each side until golden brown and you're going to serve it hot with some powdered sugar on top and whatever top of top top of topping. I can't talk today, guys. Can you tell it's Wednesday? I'm filming this on Wednesday. It's the middle of the week I'm trying to get over that hump. So you're going to put the powdered sugar on it and put whatever topping you like. And I always put syrup on ours. So that's the way we like it. So let's get going on our steps.
right, y'all, so this is the final product, and I'm going to be adding my syrup to it. I haven't tasted it before with pumpkin pie spice, and what I noticed is that I used a large a large bowl, and if you use a more shallow container, the spices seem to go towards the bottom of the pan. So if you use a shallow container, you'll get more spice incorporated in each piece of your bread. So you might not get to the spices if you use a tall bowl like I did until you get to the end, because I did make quite a few pieces. So just keep that in mind as well. And if you really love pumpkin spice, you might want to add a little bit, sprinkle it on here instead of powdered sugar or along with powdered sugar. If that's something that you like, you really like that pumpkin spice taste, you might want to do that as well. So I'm going to add my syrup to it. I'm going to eat it up. I will put a note here how I liked it better or different with the pumpkin pie spice or with cinnamon because the cinnamon is how we make it all year long. But this um, French toast recipe is foolproof. It's easy. If you know how to make grilled cheese, you can definitely do French toast. Don't be scared of it. It is very easy, very filling, and very tasty. So that is the Foodie Fridays for this Friday. Y'all give this video a thumbs up if you're loving the Foodie Fridays every week, and hit that subscribe button if you're not with me already, because I'd love to have you part of the YouTube family, and I post here every Friday with a new video and new recipe. Check the description box down below for the recipe to be able to do in be able to print and get it yourself. And until next week with another Foodie Fridays, y'all have a great weekend, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.